So earlier today, I was messing around with Snort and uh, showing someone else the whole idea of Snort, the IDS, and all that. I uh, didn't want to go through the whole install step, so I looked to see if there was a Docker image that was out there, and I found this one. And we started walking through the whole install, right? And it's a typical run command, grabbing the, the image here, and then dropping you into a bash shell. Um, and then he gives it options. He has a, a local rule file with an ICMP alert, you know, basic, that you can just send out uh, any pinged anywhere, and it will start detecting it. And that's as far as I got, but I wanted to show that to you. So what we had here was the actual so we ran that command right the docker command to get the box up first time we ran it it had to go out to the uh, the docker hub and pull that image right but we went here and then we can go into the rule file so just had to check where the rule file was there it is, Etsy Snort Rules, local rules. Been a while. So if I go in there, you can see the the alert here. You know, on the on the uh, the container site, he talks about any any to any, but here you have to hit the Google DNS server to actually make it work. So I went through all that, and then I was like, cool, let's run this bad boy, and. I ran the docker command, right? And just getting stuff spit out to the console. So I'm in the container here. I'm running that, right? And first it barfs. And I'm like, oh, what happened? Well, so you got to pay attention to your your variables you're passing to the, the command, right? So this is the command we ran. This is saying there's an interface, E0, and then it's loading this config file. Um, well, on this box, there is no E0. So I'm like, okay, here's the next one. ENO1. Right? Looks like the next possible option. Ran that. Everything looked like it was running fine. I go in to uh, ping some stuff. So I'm pinging the DNS. Oops. That wasn't it. That was something else. So I start pinging that. And I'm thinking that there's going to be something showing up over here. So I stay here for a little while and I go, why didn't that work? Well, we're going to kill it, then we're going to start it up again, we're going to look at this. I'm on wireless, okay, so I made the mistake, and it kind of had me stumped for a second there, but you have your Docker interface, you have a bridge interface, loop back, um, and then here's your wireless. That's my wireless one. So I'm collecting off of my, my network interface card that's on my laptop, but it's not even plugged in, so of course there's nothing on it. So when I put this guy in, let's see what happens. I'm sitting there showing somebody earlier, and it's not triggering at all. Um, you know, I was showing them earlier, and then I finally figured it out. And you know, basic setup of an IDS, right? You have your IDS. You make sure it's configured correctly. Make sure it's looking in an interface that actually has some data on it. Uh, last thing you want to do is set up an IDS. It's not watching anything because I can guarantee you're not going to catch anything. But there it is. Uh, nice little setup usage um, document that I was using here off of. Uh, Docker, nice little setup, quick and easy, and for anyone that's actually getting into the Snort realm or IDS realm, it's a pretty easy way to set it up without having to go through a huge headache of trying to set it up on your bare bones system. Just install Docker, run the Docker run command, get the image, and you're off and running, at least to, to mess around with on your on your local laptop.